right, so this video is basically going to be pretty short and it will deal with the troubleshooting a little bit of some the, the problems you will encounter with uh, trying to install a Unity and Unity Hub, uh, which is a 3D game engine, and uh, to while using uh, an Ubuntu operating system, more specifically, uh, this oper newer operating system, sorry, newer uh, distribution of Linux, right, which is uh, Yami Jellyfish, and it is version 22.04 long-term support for the Ubuntu operating system. So, uh, what you will try to do first, right, is going to be installing the Unity Hub, and you may find it online. Right, so just can go to uh, Unity, uh, just Google it, and the first option should be basically the software for the game engine. Right, so what you're going to need to do is go to get started and under get started there should be an option uh, in individual under individual to install it for free so you are going to be tempted to click here and under personal and then download of course because we are on Ubuntu 22.04 uh, ins install the version for Linux right so there you shouldn't have a problem really uh, doing uh, following these commands if you have 22.04 as it is the one the distribution I am currently using and I haven't had any problems up to that point so you're just gonna copy paste these lines which will give you um, make you proceed through the installation and so there you may get uh, perhaps some d error display here uh, which may tell you something about security and I encourage you also to perhaps uh, look at uh, how to do it the proper way however it is not completely necessary uh, to fulfill that that warning message you get to install the whole thing so after you're done all up to this point you should have a unity hub installed and now uh, after so after you install it you can just you know browse it through the through the dash and basically just search for unity and unity hub will appear so you click on it and you should have now the main platform for uh, Unity. Of course you're going to need to log in. So they're going to ask you to log in, create a user account and that that should all, it's not happening for me because I've already logged in. But if I sign out then I'm going to need to sign in again. And so if you're a new user it will tell you to sign up and so you will click here and it will redirect you will click in the sign up option in this platform and it will redirect it to the website and you, you will make a username and everything so you shouldn't have problems either if you fulfill all the everything they're asking you up to this point however the next step you may have some performance issues and the next step is basically uh, installing the the actual executables for Unity. Up to this point, we have just uh, installed a platform, so which is kind of like a analogous to an interpreter for software, right? So if you want to install uh, these executables, you may need to go. I may have forgotten already. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you actually just need to go to the, to the next step in the same download page, right? Which is choose your Unity version. So you're gonna click there, and then uh, it's gonna take some time. For some reason, I don't know why it's taking some time. I'm just gonna pause the video. So after that's loaded, so you may see the all the versions available. Now I highly encourage you to install the long-term releases because they're usually the ones that are stable, um, and that's what I tried you know um, initially so I downloaded the went here and went with the latest long-term release for LTS and uh, which is this one I believe and so when I did that it actually gave me and I tried running a project it gave me an error right so the way that you install uh, these packages 
is basically by going to the install section. Uh, now, as I mentioned, right, so no, perhaps I'm not going to show it uh, right now, while the error which, is, which it gave me, but, you know, because it's actually not functional using uh, this version is not really hasn't worked out for me and being functional with with the operating system I have. I actually went and downgraded uh, to Unity 20 to a long-term support Unity version from 2019. Right. So if you actually look over the the error I got is basically the cra uh, the program the game crashed. So let's just type crashed Ubuntu and Unity 3D, you'll get uh, several people trying to really solve this problem, right? And there hasn't really been resolved, I, be I believe, up to this point. That's why you may be watching this video now. Um, so I have actually gone through the forum and see what's up. And it appears that there's some uh, some in compatibility some compatibility issues which have to do with uh, a graphics card and how you know the new versions are trying to resolve it with new technology so at least uh, that's what you know I have basically extracted from all of this information I get here from the from the forum so uh, my reasoning was well why not just downgrade to a lower version some years ago from some years, from some years ago, so that's what I've done. So I went to the long-term support of 2019. If you want to be more specific, I went to the 2019.4.40f1 <laughs> long-term support version. That's the one you also may install and not have any problems if you're running the same operating system that I am, which is of course the newest long-term support version of Ubuntu. Uh, so basically what you need to do to install these right so i wouldn't i wouldn't install the 2021 because that's probably the one that you've already tried and it hasn't worked so you can just go to unity 2019 uh go to this version which is the last latest one actually and it's also well labeled as long-term support here so you're gonna go to this one you're gonna click on linux and you're gonna click on unity accelerator and that's gonna install it and after you know basically downloading it it's not going to install it sorry it's going to download it and after the process the downloading process is done it's probably going to appear in your under your downloads folder so after that's done you're going to install it here and to install it you're just going to have to click on locate and then in locate you're going to basically go to your downloads folder and click on the file All right so i've done that already so i don't need to do it you're probably gonna get some version here and you're gonna click on install I have it I have set to uninstall because it's, I've already installed it right but anyways that's basically the process for installing the actual executable after doing that you're probably gonna try to run a project now and it's gonna be you're gonna be able to make it work right so for projects what you do is just click on new project and you're gonna find several templates may find several templates here of course you're gonna go to the to the version which will actually work which is this 2019 one which is what I've done at least it's worked for me so I believe that it may work for everybody else that also holds the same 22.04 uh, version long-term support for Ubuntu so you can click for instance on the first beginner lesson lessons, beginner lessons or projects which are already the templates which are already provided to you by Unity and what I did is click on Lego micro game and after you click here, right, click on create project and it will basically create it under the directory of course that you decide for which you decide to place or house all your for which you decide to house your project in, by right, which you can do it by clicking on that one. And of course you can always name it Lego in this place. Well you click create and it will create a file under your project's uh, section here which is this one right so this one is as you can see 22 20 21 the editor of 2021 which doesn't work uh, this one is the one that I've tested and uh, it does not crash right so 
uh, just for fun, I'll just show you the one that which does not work, right? So if you've uh, gone with the latest version, take some time. So I'm just gonna pause the video here. So this is the version, uh, basically running the same game but with a more uh, recent long-term support version from 2021. Now if you click under here, which is basically this arrow button, right, which is the the game, basically the game view, which allows you to interact and test again. Uh, if I click here, which is uh, actually a very, very useful feature for this type of uh, uh, game designing platforms, you'll see that the program will crash, right, so Unity has stopped working. And it tells you to doesn't even say it doesn't even put it in nice text. It gives you some options to report it. However, it says that there is no fix available. So this is basically what we get for the more recent version right now, or what I got uh, at the at the very least, right? So uh, that just closes automatically. So the this is basically the non-functional version. I may just like, delete it, right, because I'm not going to be able to run it with that version. So with the 2019 uh, Unity executable, however, that is the one that actually does work. So if you click on that project and you load it, of course it's going to take some time. Now you'll see that the dash uh, not the dash, but uh, uh, this set of this, the toolbar is a little different for Unity 2019. Uh, the tutorials are actually here, right in this section, uh, whereas in 2021 tutorials are, I believe, like around here in this space. However, that is not much of a change. So what you're gonna uh, perhaps the the instructors of Unity will tell you to do is to go click on Show Tutorials to continue to to learn, right? If you want to learn how to do this game design. Uh, and so now when you click and show tutorials, then you'll be able to see use this option now. And basically you can now click on get started. Just wait a little bit patient. Okay. And then it gives you this option. And so you can just follow the instructions as they are given to you. Select start to begin. Mm. It tells you to go deeper. And now when you click here, it's not gonna crash with this version. And so we're going to go and just follow the instructions. And just wait a little bit. Patience. Uh, now you'll see that you have a fully functioning uh, game test mode. And so you can go here. And that's basically how you can just test the game, which you are designing. I believe it's actually I was very happy to finally be able to resolve this problem so I believe that this is basically the end the end of the road so to speak as you can see right <laughs> so after this right we can just turn off the game developer mode and we can continue with the tutorial lessons so but I believe that's basically the main performance issue that was present and this is a great way to resolve it just basically go a couple of versions uh, earlier and if you're using Ubuntu uh, 22.04 operating system which is the newer long-term distribution for Ubuntu which is Jammy Jellyfish right so I hope that this video was helpful if you enjoy my content uh, please give it a like if you really like the material you see there uh, also uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel right that is basically it goodbye